Well, let's go back to our breaking news this hour. A three-hour meeting between the foreign ministers of France, Germany, Ukraine and Russia has just wrapped up in Berlin. The diplomats were trying to jumpstart the stalled peace process in Ukraine. Let's get the details now uh, from Peter Oliver, who's been following that meeting uh, in the German capital. Peter, what do we know about the outcome of the meeting? Well, we've heard uh, some statements being given. The Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, said that the political process could only be successful once dialogue exists between Kiev and uh, the self-proclaimed republics in the east of Ukraine. He also said that until that constitutional problems were, those constitutional problems were sorted out, that it was very hard to discuss any other issue with Ukraine. Now, earlier, uh, Mr Lavrov said that Russia had intelligence that the Ukrainian military may be preparing for a new fresh assault in the country. We have information that we are double-checking now, and it's that Ukraine security officials are preparing another attempt to solve the situation militarily in the nearest future. That would be a catastrophe. We also have information that Ukrainian leaders don't deny that there is an ongoing mobilization. Numbers vary. From 50 to 20,000 people are to be drafted into the army. Well, the German foreign minister issued a joint statement on behalf of all four uh, top diplomats there. He said that their commitment, they were fully committed to a peaceful solution in Ukraine, that a possible peace summit in Astana could still take place, that that, um, that could be taking place at a later date. He said that the Minsk agreement, all parties were in agreement, that the Minsk agreement was the only way to bring about a peaceful solution and that a ceasefire was the only way that that could be achieved. He said that should that ceasefire be in place, Place, that it was going to be possible that they could see a peace summit with the heads of state of those four countries taking place in Astana, but that all parties agreed that there was a lot more work needed to be done. All right, thanks, Peter. That's RT's Peter Oliver uh, with the latest there from those talks in Berlin. Thanks.